Mashiro Arisaka from Aokana is the absolute cutest thing on earth, and Aokana Extra 1 is specifically designed to make her a warm bundle of wholesome adorableness. So, uh, here's my PowerPoint presentation on Mashiro's cute points. Th this is also a review of Extra 1, I guess. Cue point number one, Mashiro is very small. She may be the shortest out of all of the heroines, but that makes her the perfect size for convenient head padding. <laughs> With such a tiny frame, Mashiro is easy to pick up and carry around. Very optimal for cuddling in big spoon, little spoon positions. And the way she says senpai as a doting kohai is shamelessly hugworthy. She may not be well endowed, but that just makes her that much more easier to be closer to her heart. You will be affected by by the Mashiro love syndrome, with the way she looks up, with the warmest blush on her face. It's just, hmm. Cue point number two, Mashiro is a walking, flustering disaster. Extra one takes place immediately after Mashiro's route in the original game. After having accomplished their goal, they set out to achieve their next momentous task, planning their second date. Pretty much this entire sequel fan disc is dedicated to that premise alone. On paper, this sounds like not much, but for Mashiro, it's a rough uphill battle. Forget FC, Extra One is Mashiro's romantically charged maiden in love training arc. One of the most aspiring things about Mashiro is that uh, she's not the greatest. She's not attractive like Asuka, she's not flirtatious like Misaki, she's not a wife goddess like Rika, but what she does have is determination. Mashiro has an un uncanny ability to psych herself out and dream of the worst possible scenarios. Knock knock, it's your anxiety calling, here to tell you that you're a terrible significant other because you don't know how to cook a decent meal. Mashiro exemplifies the nervousness. Most people have a voice in their head. Mashiro's got an actual personification of her anxiety demons in the form of a beloved mascot plushie. It's a good representation of those romantic fears through her POV as we see the poor girl struggle. And yet, it's that determination and hard work to overcome those difficulties difficulties that makes it all worth it. In a way, Extra One reframes Mashiro's original message from the original game with a stronger focus on fan service romance, paired up with adorably hilarious slice of life events. Uh, anyway, I spent too much time analyzing. Uh, cute point number three. Mashiro is part cat. The Mashiro cat, coming from the Arisaka family, is a small but loving animal. Found on the Kunashima Island, the Mashiro cat lives a very quiet life and can be found inside her natural habitat, surrounded by electronic devices and plushies. A trait of the Mashiro cat is that they are very affectionate towards their partner and the Misaki monkey, and yet they are also known to be very feisty against their natural enemy, the Arika tuna. Recommendations include letting it cuddle up, followed up with initiating playful behavior. This will make the creature let out various sounds as a sign of affection. <laughs> Cue point number four, Mashiro is made to look unbelievably pretty. Right out of the gate, you are treated to a barrage of wonderful looking CGs before the game goes completely overboard throughout the story, presenting so many gorgeous CGs. This may be a fan disc, but the insane quality just does not stop. The fan service pictures between all of the girls, adorably cute chibi CGs, and the oh so beautiful pictures of the sky. That's just the CGs, every outfit Mashiro wears is so freaking cute. The elegant one-piece dress, the hoodie and apron combo, the uniform, ah. If you loved Mashiro in the original game, Extra One will kill you from all of the moe cuteness from every single scene. Cute point number five. Mashiro has great supportive friends and family. We spend a majority of the story in Mashiro's POV, and it is the girls only club. Each girl, and yes, that does include mom, gets paired up with Mashiro and everything they do is a charming demonstration of their personality and quirks taken to the extreme. Asuka is the ever so loving fluff ball of joy. Rika is the emotional support line always on call 24 seven. Misaki is the same as always. And Madoka consistently and successfully always dying. Never fails to make me laugh. It takes all of the inside jokes from the original game and play it out for full slice of life comedic effect. The sprites moving all around offers its own dynamic jokes and gags too. It's both impressive and fun. All while every scene is dedicated to help make Mashiro's date that much more successful. And it's not just Mashiro. Masaya is also off doing research himself, sometimes getting too much information than what he asked for. In general, Extra One's dual POV narrative perfectly fits the dating preparation premise, because sometimes the time we spend apart serves to highlight truly wonderful thoughts about the other person. 
Extra one is Mashiro Moe Moe Heaven, a distillation of pure romantic cuteness from Aokana. And it's an absolute 10 out of 10 for Mashiro lovers. It takes all of Mashiro's characteristics and characterization from the original game and reinforces those elements, from her social awkwardness and low self-esteem to her passionate drive and earnest hard work. Yes, there's no FC here, but Mashiro's themes from her route still echo here, overcoming hardship through one's own efforts and the value that hard work brings as you strive to achieve a goal. Yeah, it applies to romance too. That said, there's one very specific line during the final moments that's kind of awkward, but given that the whole message is largely fulfilling, I'm okay with it. Why? Because Extra One's goddamn cute. A 5 out of 5 with a seal of recommendation. Now, if you like that, obviously you're gonna check out my Extra 2 video, right? But otherwise, you might want to check out this title over here. In conclusion, Mashiro's so freaking cute! Ah! <laughs>